go on and on for days about the history of John Force Racing and the accomplishments of John Force Racing. We're not here to talk about the history. Today is officially the next step in the next generation to have the proud father come up. It's an exciting time for me. See, I'm not really funny today, I'm terrified. Ashley Force is gonna go to NHRA Powerade drag racing and drive the 330 mile an hour fuel funny cars. Castro said we want the kid because she had my name. Triple A said we want her because she's a female to go up against the boys. There's no turning back now. You know, I've been racing for 30 years. I've won 14 championships. I've been on fire from here to Australia and nothing could prepare me for having daughters. Ashley's finally announced she's going pro. The media loves it and the sponsors love it, and I couldn't be prouder. But I'm also worried for her. She's tested for a year, but that ain't enough. At 330 miles per hour, the funny car can be an unpredictable son of a bitch. With only two weeks before her first pro event in Pomona, I don't know if I can teach her everything she needs to know. This is what you observe on a run. You want to get out of the car if it's on fire. If the fire's out, slow it down as slow as you can and stop it. Car leaves the starting line. Can you see it mixing up the cylinders? I'm trying to get out of the car. I'm in a panic. I don't have time to think about things that are wrong. OK, now, did you see the hose hook my head? Mm -hmm. That could snap your neck. The air hose, which is supposed to help you, hurt you because I didn't check it, and two, Wore a wore out fire suit, so in turn I got burns on the back of my legs. If we can take every mistake by these cars and turn it into a positive of how to evolve, because in the early days we never had videos to look at. We just climbed out, patched the fire suit, and went right back in the fire. And, and we're lucky we survived it. But there are a few that didn't. A kid I know out of New Jersey was burnt real bad in a car that I sold him. He just didn't have everything right. God bless him. He wanted it so bad, and then he just ended up burned. It's not a matter of if Ashley will catch on fire. It's just a matter of when. In less than four and a half seconds, a million things can go wrong. I want to go over the, the bottle fire switch, bottle. pulling the brake handle, activating it. You've almost got to train yourself to do it a hundred times. You form like a very intense relationship with your crew chief because it's kind of a life and death thing that you're in together. He's worked right under Austin and Bernie. He's worked with dad. Though he's new in the crew chief position, he's been around these funny cars forever. First thing you do is you get your foot off the gas. The minute you know you want to stop, but do not take your foot out of the stirrup. If this car was to do something crazy and turn and crash, and you pull your leg up, then your foot will go out the side and rip your foot off. Hang on as tight as you can to the steering wheel, the brake. If you let go, your arm will go outside, and that's how you'll lose your arm. My dad, you know, is only trying to help and maybe scare me a little to respect these cars, the danger of them, but it, it doesn't help me at all to get in this funny car and, and think of all the things that can happen. If you're going sideways, shoots ain't going to help you. Well, let me say won't... this to you. Let me say this to you. You're, I know this. You're going down a racetrack. You're flying and you hit that sand trap at 300, you're dead. Okay, I've talked to her about the air hose getting out of the car. And as I'm running from the fire, it jerks me and throws me on the ground. Could have broke my neck. Yep. You can talk to Safety Safari, they're on your channel. Tell them I'm on fire, come get me. A lot of times they can't see it. The explosion comes and the fire comes right behind it. Okay, and if that helmet pops open before you do anything, you've got to get it closed or it'll burn your eyes. Don't worry about spending the time to try and get a latch, just get it down and get control of where you're at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
As if I didn't have enough to worry about with Ashley going pro, I found out that she's getting serious with this kid, Danny, who works crew on another funny cartoon. You're like my mom. My mom's very calming. When I get upset, I go to my mom. My dad, he can get me highly stressed out, and, like anxious and like anxiety filled. 80, 90 different lessons in one moment. You think I'm really gonna connect the dots on all that in my mind? A couple of them. Maybe a few of them. And then when I'm going down the track and thinking about all the others that I don't remember, you have all your crew members working like detailed jobs that you cannot make a mistake on or you can blow up a car and kill someone. And then you have him come through like a tornado. You think that would just screw everybody up and they do mistakes all the time. Can't think about the bad stuff. Think about the good stuff. We I mean, have to sometimes think about the bad stuff. Yeah, no. You should be more worried. Ah. Your dad's still alive and fine, right? That's because God doesn't want to deal with him. <laughs> <laughs> so he leaves him down on earth with us. I love you too, baby. Can I come in? Yeah. You here? Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. You ain't naked, are you? That could be a good thing. There's a few things that have come up that's really got me worried. I know how you have your little secrets against me that you don't want me to John, know. John, I don't have secrets, but they do confide in me, and if it's, you know, and they ask me, don't oh, tell yeah. Dad. You know why Brad Pitt is with Angela Jolene? He was in love with that other girl on Friends, but they got on the TV set, it's called Fallin' in Love on the Set. Mm -hmm. And in the mid, but you think you're in love and you ain't. And this guy I'm with, Danny, is the guy that I really love. And we're together at the races and it's so exciting. And every day is Disneyland until you get married. Brad and Jolene's already having problems. John, you can't even say their names right. So they aren't our issue here. And they keep adopting babies from foreign John. markets just to keep them happy. Because it's like us, as long as we're building houses, we're happy. Well, as long as those two are buying babies, they're happy. <sighs> so that's why. Ashley's deal bothers me. She doesn't want to get married. Someday she will. And she said, I've asked her, have you guys talked about the future? Yeah, we have. Well, what I'm gonna do is, God, Lori, don't you ever clean the house? Jesus. Why should I? I have two girls, they'll just come right along and mess it up. Well, look at this, cookie crumbs. Nobody's had cookies. Could be worse, it could be cocaine on the floor. Jesus. It's making you mad? It's making me mad. I gotta come over here and clean your floors too? This is just, this is cat litter. It is not. Where is that cat? Um. Okay, what else? Look at them kids. Do we ever think they'd be race car drivers? <sighs> Love them to death. I don't even like using the word death. John, I, yeah. It's gonna be a long year. I don't think you're gonna survive it. Just need to keep her safe. Ashley's gonna struggle through testing and on into Pomona. Because even when you got it perfect, they still blow up. Ashley's first pro event is just around the corner. And I'm worried that she's focusing on Danny more than her funny car. Mm -hmm. You excited to see Danny? Mm-hmm. Boy, you really like this guy, don't you? Mm-hmm. You got what they call it, got it bad? Huh? You got it bad? Like, okay, can I ask, is this, are we talking love here? Are we talking big like? Dad, we'll be engaged in a few in a few years. Wait. Good luck with that. Are you talking that? Not in within this year, no. How you doing, bud? Do you have children? What's that? You have children? Oh, uh, no, I don't. Why? You want one? <laughs> Do I want one? <laughs> sure, just I'll take her. Telling me her future plans. You ever seen a girl pregnant driving a 300 mile an hour funny car? <laughs> Ashley only has two weekends of testing left before her pro debut in Pomona. And this is the first time she'll be making a run with her new crew chief, Dean Antonelli. A new crew, a new crew chief, a new driver. This thing is gonna be a crapshoot. And I just hope this car can make it down the racetrack in one piece. How we doing? We got a problem. And I'm there's a curve there, but remember, 
the guy ahead of you might go there and park. So you don't want to cut it to the wall, go around the curb, and there he is. If you're on the outside, stay to the outside. If you're on the inside, stay to the inside. If you have to go straight, just go straight till you shut it off, and they'll come tow you off. And, and you have shoot failures, don't worry about going straight. You're not trying to make that turn going fast. Just put it in the sand, okay? Where is she? What's she doing? I drive her nuts when I'm over there. She says I say everything 50 times. I know you do. Bring it down and just say it one time and walk away. Right behind the bus. Clean it up. Andy, put this in your pocket. That's not just her learning to drive a funny car, it's me learning to tune it too. I mean, I'm new and Ashley's new. I'm trying to share 30 years of experience without scaring her off. And I'm not sure how much is sinking in. Go get him, kid. Love you. Good luck. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. She okay? Yeah. She nervous at all? She was nervous about the warm up. Yeah. I'm nervous wreck. Okay, watch yourself backing up. I got going too fast, and the front end got away from me. When you've got a new crew and an untested car, it's a huge leap of faith to get up on that start line and push that pedal down. You just pray for the best. run went well, but that doesn't teach me much. On a bad run, when that old piece of has tire shape, or it starts dropping cylinders, or it's out of the groove, it'll teach her so much more. It didn't look like it rattled. Did it shake much? Mm -hmm. We need to get more runs under your belt. I can't read Ashley. The hits a fan. Hell, she might walk away. With only one weekend left of testing, we're running out of time. I need to calm down, and there's a reason for it. I don't feel that I'm doing good enough with her. I've taught her how to drive the race car, but, but there's so many things she don't talk to me about. So would you talk to me? You know this girl. You raised her. You know what I mean? I've taught her how to drive a race car, but what's inside of her, Lori? Tell me. She hasn't made that many full runs. Now she's gonna be in competition, so, you know, I know she's scared. She's got driving experience, but not so much for the now, funny part. that ain't part. what I'm asking you. I'm trying to find out what she's made of. Give her a chance that only a few get in a lifetime. But I'm sick over it, and I can't even tell her. Now, I hope that she's waking up, ready to go play and do her job. But you know what I'm saying? If she's sick like me, that worries me. And that's why I'm hoping that she is calm and cool, if she has what you have, that natural ability under pressure. But I don't know, I, I, the thing is making me ill. I don't know if somebody's ready or not. Only you could tell me that. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta go. Let's go see what happens. Here at Firebird International Raceway, just outside Phoenix, Arizona, it is Ashley Forrest as she continues to test for the beginning of the 2007 NHRA regular season in a couple of weeks. Hey, Guido, come here. This oil here gonna bother us? Huh? This oil gonna bother us? No, it's nitro. Okay. No matter what happens, be fine. Drive. Just like you drive every day. Just because there's a guy in the next lane, you don't have to cut a light. Nobody's looking at lights. Nobody gives a 
Yeah, go get him. Show him you're a tiger, because you are. It's a two-pronged mission here. Get Ashley more experience in the car and give Dino and the team enough opportunity to get their combination straight. The regular season, it starts in a couple of weeks. Testing is a lot of pressure. And I know what the outcome can be from the mistakes. And it's, it's terrifying to think about. Ashley will now roll to the starting line and make this test pass. And right now inside the car, her mind is going to be racing a thousand miles an hour. Oh, and a flash of flame from Ashley's car. You need emergency one to the track. I saw it flickering out of the right side, like, my God, she's going to be in trouble. And then it exploded. It's an instant flash fire. I saw the body lift. It turned into a blowtorch. I have tried to cram a million things on her, but I knew instantly what happened, and that's when I knew I screwed up. I should have told her that the first thing you do in a fire is hold your breath. I thought maybe she might backpedal. I thought when you get out there and you can smell your skin burning and your hair, maybe you think maybe it was a bad idea. And she had a pretty major fire. She swallowed a lot of smoke. She came out of the car. And, you know, I was looking for the answer. I was in panic when I was there. All she was talking about was what it would take to fix it. You know, can we get it back within the hour? And uh, that kind of answered it for me. If she was going to walk away, she would have walked away then. It just made me feel more responsible. Like, I can't keep thinking I'm just this kid that's just starting. And it's like, well, you can think that way, but it's your own safety in your life. All right. Well, you did everything, right? It felt like my visor wasn't even down, and it was locked in, and then I couldn't breathe. Let's look at your helmet. OK. She didn't even have time to respond to me. Are you OK? Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. It's kind of like, back off here and let me address the car. Number one, your helmet wasn't sealed. Number two, I forgot to tell you to hold your breath. When you were little and you jumped in a swimming pool, I always said, hold your breath. And I forgot to tell you, when you're on fire, hold your breath. OK? But, 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 but learning what you're learning now is an experience. Ain't there something about being a hero? As I was puking smoke out of my lungs and my earplugs were wrapped around my throat and I could not breathe, I thought, who the hell was a person with a bright idea to strap their body to a cannon and shoot it on down the quarter mile? Are we like the dumbest group of people in the universe? Practice makes perfect. And the fact that we set her on fire and she got out of the car, I am totally amazed, totally impressed. Because you never know how an individual, I've watched drivers walk away. Done it, been there. You set me on fire, enough of this hero I'm out of here. I'm not only building drivers, Eric, Robert, and Ashley, for the next generation, I'm building crew chiefs. That's where you come in. I understand what you and her are going to go through, because you knew her when she was a baby. I would, uh, there's nobody else that I would give this job to. I started this thing years ago when she wanted to go to Holly's driving school, and I thought she could become this person. And she has, but I, but I carry the fear every day. It would kill me mentally if anything happened to her. I'm just being yeah, honest. Me too. If I hurt her, I know she's going to get beat up, bruised. She's going to have her skin burned. I, I fear for her eyes, losing her sight. It's the biggest fear that I have. There's just so many fears that are out there, and I can't shed it. I think after Pomona, I'll be a lot better. Uh, yeah. It's just what we have to live with. I'm finally glad that we've gotten through testing, and it's time to race. So are you ready to be on fire again? I don't plan on being on fire again, but I'm ready for it. 
When you started racing, did you ever think you'd end up dating someone who drove the cars you worked on? Because <laughs> I guess then you would have thought you would date a man. <laughs> <laughs> True. I told Dad the other day. Well, he's so con he's so not controlling, but he likes to have it. He likes to look so far in advance. Like he's already planned out. Like after he dies, everything that happens. Like he's he thinks in times of like thirty years down the road. Um, are you pretty serious, Danny? I'm like, well, yeah. Well, do you guys say you love each other? I'm like. Yeah? So does every girlfriend and every boyfriend, even if they don't even love each other. That's just what you're supposed to do. Oh, you should see my dad's face. It like freaked him out. It's pretty hilarious. For once, I made my dad speechless. What are we choosing to? To winning and not ever being angry if we beat each other. And hopefully going to a picnic by a lake. I'm starting to think that I'm making her my little baby way too long. She's a grown woman. And to jam too much stuff into her mind, like, what am I going to tell her? It's going to be terrible. It's going to rip her heart out and make her feel sick and nauseated. Why do you want to tell them that? They'll learn that soon enough when they get there. The best teacher will only be yourself, not me. <laughs> <laughs>